What's up, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. I'm your guy, Ninja Killer 74 and we finna get back in the mix by using this random number generator. But before I do that, I know this episode is going up next Wednesday, and there's not going to be any parts going up between or on Thursday. So I would just like to wish a happy Thanksgiving to anybody who actually celebrates uh, that or whatever. You know, uh, I know there's a lot of people who don't celebrate it. Either because they don't live in the United States or because, you know, the uh, history surrounding said holiday. Anyway, so I'm going to use this random number generator to uh, see who the fuck we're going to hang out with. So I said it right here. It's on Google. Min 1, max 5. Generate. 3. So we're hanging out with Kawakami. I mean, I'm going to be real with you. That was my first choice. Uh, <laughs> I would screenshot the random number of shit that I just did just now, too. But, like, hey. All right, well, let's hang out with our teacher. Yes, let's. Great. Wear your bathing suit. We'll need to blend in with our surroundings. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, I kind of wanted to, especially after that one cutscene. Oh, it's nice to finally have some me time. I've been so busy lately. There will be some devious things done, bro. Some absolutely devious things done. I don't give a fuck if it's broad daylight. In the open. Hey. What's up? What are you looking at? You. The Waikiki Beach. No, nigga, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm looking at the swimsuit. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your honesty. See, she with that shit. So, um. Yes. Ooh. -oh. Let's take a walk. Bet. Um. Hold on, let me get my shit ready. There we go. Ooh. What's up? Look, Garlic shrimp. Like shrimp? That shit sound kind of fire. I ain't going front, bro. Tasting the local delicacies is an absolute must on vacation. Don't you think? Absolutely. It's the true pleasure of traveling. Right? Hey, mister! Two orders of garlic shrimp, please! Damn! Oh my god! I think I'm craving a beer! Oh, fuck yeah! Let's go! Why does drinking on the beach have to be prohibited in Hawaii? Wait, it is? Wait, hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on. Oh, you cannot drink on the beach, okay. According to the law, it is illegal to have an open container of alcohol in your car or in public places, like beaches, parks, or street sides. Of course, people get created by spiking their juice or hiding alcohol in a cup. Yeah, okay. She's trying to get lit, though. I fuck with it. Bro, I kind of want some fucking garlic shrimp. Now, that shit sound, sound fucking bomb, bro. You two from Japan? Yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> you don't sound very Hawaiian, sir. <laughs> yeah, you sound very Midwest, like the, like the Midwest United States. Like I don't know, you like you from Minnesota or some shit, dog. Wow, you're very well informed. Now, she had a nice octave on that. Wow. <laughs> Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah. You're quite the celebrity. Oh. So if you run into him, tell him I say hello. <laughs> Will do, dog. I trust me. Oh, hold on. Don't don't worry about why I'm pulling out my phone camera for a second. And don't worry about why I'm about to take a selfie. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, uh at the same time here though, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Sorry, it was just something I was just looking at just now. All the way, by the way, uh, Kawakami did mention that he was treated like a celebrity. I mean, I would like to get some celebrity treatment if you catch my drift. And ask him to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck was that laugh? Okay, I'll let them know. By the way, you two honeymoon in here? Well, I wouldn't say that. Oh my. Oh, she's got a little blush on her right now, too. Come on, let's go. Oh my god, that inflection in her voice. Oh, oh my lord. Watching the sunset? Oh, it's been years since I've seen something so beautiful. She sounds so at peace right now. I was having so much fun. I hope no one saw us. That's because we're being scandalous. We're so scandalous. Although, I wouldn't back down if someone actually confronted us about it. Oh? She gonna fight for hers? To tell you the truth, I'm worried that you're lonely because of the position I'm in. If that's true, then I'm sorry. I'll endure it. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Anyway, this is my first time here. Hawaii's really nice, isn't it? Let's come back sometime. Just the two of us. Just the two. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna do that again. Not over the second time this episode. Here, take this. Actually, excuse me. No, that wouldn't be the second time this episode. That'd be the second time in these, uh, these, this batch of recordings. A Hawaiian ring. It's a ring engraved with our initials. Damn. Something about the uh, faint gleam reminds me of Kawakami. Ta-da! That's the power of a paycheck. Just kidding. It's to commemorate today. Nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, it's gonna get dark soon. We should head back. Eh, might as well throw them the line. Might as well throw in the line. Let's throw in the line. If you say so, master. Oh! Hook, line, and sinker. In the stunning Hawaiian sunset. Shit. I just realized that the little people walking by changed to Hawaii. Getting dragged around by Sakamano all day. So how? What was your luck like, guys? Uh, did you find anything? Do you think I'll have to go through this on future school events as well? <laughs> it was terrible for him too. But wasn't he the one who invited me in the first place? Oh, I'm sorry about your damn luck then. I don't know. It's fun hanging out with Sakamoto, but he might be too different for me. Oh, y'all don't gel? Is getting a girlfriend my only way out of this situation? <laughs> Listen, bro, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm gonna tell you this right now. It's not all is cracked up to be. If you're feeling, you know, if you feel like, you know, you're kind of stuck in some shit or whatever. That's the worst thing that you can do. Don't add that. That's just an extra stress. All right. Well, anyway, we need to wake up early tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Okay. All right. Hey. Aww. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that it was a boy's accident. My fault. Hey, we're still open for a business. Get that cat upstairs. It's not like anyone's coming in anyway. Plus, if someone does come, you can just tell them it's a cat cafe. You know that line's not gonna work. 
Hey, excuse me. Mario Key? Uh, hey. What did I tell you? Get that cat out of here. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, please. Uh, there's no need. I'm sorry. Hmm. Wait a sec. It's... I was told that um, Mamma Mia Kun is lodging at a cafe, and I happened to be passing by, so... Uh -huh. Ah, I see. You teach at a school, huh? This is new, by the way. Not really. I'm just a counselor. Although you, ha you, you have held some classes, or at least had like some, some lectures that you've uh, given out. Well, in any case, I apologize for the cat. Normally he stays upstairs. It's fine by me. I love animals. Uh, they don't seem to share the sentiment, though. <laughs> mm. The heck's he doing here? Runs off on his little trip. No clue. He's just some alien-level stranger to me. Say, you uh, talk with your cat. That's so neat. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, did I frighten you? Uh, my apologies. I just found it impressive, is all. Uh, sorry about the uh, cold shoulder over there. Just take the cat upstairs, okay? I'll call you back down when it's all clear. Come on, Futabo. We'll just be in the way down here. Let's go. <gasps> that book! Oh, uh, this? It's on a subject called Cognitive Science. Huh. Any interest? Huh. Why exactly do you have that, bro? What? You're... I'm sorry, but you need to leave. Don't worry about the bill. Huh? Huh? I'm so sorry if there was anything I... Hold on. That is so fucking stupid. The cafe is now closed. I'll have to ask you to... Soji roll? I'm okay. He stays. What good is driving your few customers away gonna do you anyhow? Futaba. <laughs> Ooh, there's a theme. So that book, it, is it what you teach, uh, sir? Uh, I mean, uh, mister? Hmm. Huh? Well, uh, uh, no, uh, not at all. I, I'm not a teacher. What's it for, then? It's just a personal interest of mine. I've been studying it for years now. It's difficult to grasp at times, but it's quite useful. Fun to study, too. It's fun? Yeah. Well, of course. It's a wonderful division of science that can help many people. That makes it pretty fun, right? We he he yep. Mom thought the exact same thing. Mom? Her mother studied it too. What I don't get is why you're studying something like that, though. Well, you are a high school counselor, right? I guess it does make sense being related to your field at all. Your mom sounds... Oh, your mom thought that too, huh? She sounds like a wonderful woman. <laughs> Hell yeah. My mom owned. She loved me so much. <sighs> Past tense. Huh? I see. Right. Well, I'm sure she'd be very proud. All right, let's go. Come on, Mona. Let's go. Off to a menless room. Hey, wait. Hey, what? Futaba? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, would you care for another? <laughs> uh, thank you. Your coffee truly is amazing. Huh. Thanks. <laughs> Man. Things sure are changing around here. I was surprised that wasn't voice acted, though. We are just going up, 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 up. The school trip is finally coming to a close. 
Time to go back to Japan. I never thought I would have the chance to go on one this year as well. I guess you were kind of lucky in a sense. Barely even felt like I was out of the country though. But here's the thing though, didn't you want to go back to Japan anyway? Even Yusuke showed up. I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. By the way, if y'all were curious, my second choice was going to be Hifumi. It may not have been the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Uh, my third choice probably would have been Makoto. Fourth choice would have been on. My final choice would have been the the boys. Um, Honestly, though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. They truly are dreadful. That is true. And like I mentioned before, uh, I will have a link to uh, that shows everybody all the other uh the the ones that you can uh see the other date events i shall also say uh you know whatever the chat whatever channel it is who i find who has the little compilation whatever i will tell you to please you know you know like their videos you know give them a sub whatever anything like that so what did you end up doing yesterday you keeping secrets from me that's against the bro code don't worry about it See, if I say I was with someone, on is right here. That's not good. I just went to the beach. What by yourself? No way I'm gonna believe that. The desperation in your face is quite unbecoming, Ryuji. Hmm. That's enough, you guys. It felt like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. Damn, I'm actually real mad hungry right now. Hey, why don't we shop for souvenirs together before it's time to go? Oh yeah, we were supposed to do to get some souvenirs, weren't we? Ooh, count me in. Allow me to join you as well. Although I have no funds for souvenirs. My nigga, you about to be window shopping in another country. You're going to be able to get back to Japan, right? The school pays for his shit, though, don't they? Don't, don't they? What do you think Morgana and Futaba would like? Now, I believe this is also new. The traditional souvenir from Hawaii is usually chocolate. Oh, but Morgana can't eat chocolate. Well, he tells us that he's not a cat, so maybe it's fine. I don't know about that, bruh. I would not take that chance. If we're gonna get him souvenirs, we gotta pick stuff they'll really wig out over. Why don't we split up and look around then? Look, they have coffee with butter in it. Do you think it tastes good? Butter coffee? The fuck? I've, I've never had that shit. Hello, well-behaved girl in the background. There's acai powder over here. Is that how you pronounce that? Bro, I'm gonna be real. I did not know that was how you put. Well, actually, no, it has a little fucking, um. The, the comb, whatever the fuck it was in French, in French, whatever. I know, I see it under there. That makes the sound, not the k sound. Like in, like with a garçon, you know, shit like that. I don't know what's pronounced like that though. Acai? Like the uh, like the moon salt? For anybody who watched wrestling, the acai moon salt? Like like that? I'm a real I thought it was like acai. I, I always just say acai powder or whatever. And I had no idea what the fuck that like it actually is, so. Doesn't it feel like you could just spend forever at places like these? I got you call um excuse me. Not too cultured in the coffee world, as you can see. I don't know what you mean. We've come all the way to Hawaii. I think it'd be best for our gifts to focus on impact rather than taste. Oh, well said. In that case, let's find something we wouldn't buy ourselves, but we'd be happy to get as a gift. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, this is Futaba and Morgana we're talking about. Their standards for happiness are way too high. That's a... That feels like a little bit of a shot. Yusuke, you find something? What is that? 
Excuse me. Hourglass that measures three minute increments. What? Oh. It's an hourglass for three minutes. Why the fuck would you even call it an hourglass? Uh, why? Well, Futaba loves instant yakisoba. Oh, okay. It brilliantly meets the requirements of an item I wouldn't buy for myself, but would please me to receive. Oh, okay, that's that's not bad, actually, then. All right, I see what you were thinking with Yusuke. You put some thought to that shit. But can't she just buy one of those in Japan? It's not the same. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm yawning so much now. Oh, crap, we're almost out of time. Just get it. Okay, Yusuke and I will find Futaba's souvenir, and we'll leave Morgana's to you. Oh, okay. Something Morgana would like. I feel like someone's staring at me from behind. You like what you see? No. <laughs> hello. Well, hello there, Kasumi. Senpai. Nice uh, Uma Thurman jacket you got right there. Aloha. <laughs> That's a much more appropriate greeting. Aloha. Huh? Who's that? Oh, they've you they've yet to meet her. Find anything suitable? Hmm? That girl. Ah, sorry to be a bother. I'm Yoshizawa, a first year. It's nice meeting you all. Well, they probably would be like, oh, they're that student or whatever, because Otherwise, he'd be like, what the fuck is a first year doing on this trip? Do the first years get a trip? Are they, do they get a trip or no? Oh, you're the gymnast. I'm actually curious about that now. That's something that we're not going to know. Yes, that's right. Our club's here at a training camp to get ready for the next big meet. And I just happened to find him. The last meet was only a short while ago, though. You're already training for the next one? Hey, the grind never stops, you feel me? You seem to be making quite the effort. Well, I absolutely have to get the results I'm looking for at the next competition. The team's been training with a famous coach who lives here on the island. She's working us especially hard. We end up in tears almost every day. Your dedication to training even when overseas is admirable. We should all learn from your example. Yep. Good luck at the next meet. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. Your kind words may be what keeps me from crying today. Hey, uh, it's fine if you do cry, though. You know what they say. What doesn't thrill you makes you stronger. Oh my god. Ah, I almost forgot we're out of time here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pay for my stuff. Ooh, I ought to do that too. See you later, Yoshizawa-san. Yes, it was nice meeting you all. Your friends seem like a fun bunch. They're weird? Nah, I always say that. And they're great. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. Well, I know I'm going to win for sure this time. I'll prove to everyone what I'm made of. Considering the rank I got last time, though, I also got this souvenir as a sort of insurance. Uh, good luck charm? I bought it earlier today at this branch of a Japanese shrine here in Hawaii. I always used to buy some kind of charm before a big competition. 
My sister was even more stringent with her own superstitions. The thing is, I forgot to pick one up before the last meet. I'll be fine now, though. I just know it. I should probably get going. I almost forgot that I still need to pick up souvenirs for my family. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you later, all right? Yo, welcome back. Well then. Something tells me that when we go to school in the morning, uh, some shit gonna go down. Uh, how are we doing on time right now? Okay. Uh, what's up, bro? Uh, what's up, soldier? How are you? How is Hawaii? Aloha. <gasps> He's been Hawaiianized. Damn, she said it like I've been indoctrinated or something. Uh, I can understand why. Well, you guys were off having fun. Things here have gotten a bit more complicated. Surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year. Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we're not getting any revenue off of that shit. Should we try to? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? What, like Phantom Thief Curry? Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantomy effect. <laughs> so dry ice? It, 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 and niggas gonna be over here like... Like, damn, so drunk, there's some guy... <laughs> You gonna actually turn these niggas into phantoms themselves? Trying to eat the fucking curry, bro? Uh, I'm just joking, alright? That actually kinda hurt a little bit. 
I had to like get seriously deep into that call for whatever for that. I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. Your guests? What do you think of Ketchy Coon? Oh, he's on TV, huh? Well, there he is, the anti-thief detective. Hmm. I hope he slips up and self-destructs. Damn. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. Huh? They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However, no, I shouldn't say any more. Mm. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude. What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis, you know, of the data. What'd you find? Want to meet now? Seriously? Jet lag? Listen, we've been gone for a few days, you know. We gotta get used to this time zone again. Fine then. Tomorrow. Got you. Vanity stamp? Vanity stamp? <sighs> hey, got a minute? You look sleepy. Attention all ye jet lagged! Someone from Shujin came to LeBlanc yesterday. What? Who? Uh, he had messy hair and glasses. I don't know, it just sounds like Ren to me. Oh! That's right! Maroki did stop by. Was his name Maroki? I think so, Dr. Maroki, the counselor. He said he was studying cognitive science. He's in that field too? You don't think he's connected to the incident with Futaba's mother? Oh, no, I didn't get that vibe from him. He seemed actually interested in cognitive science. It wasn't like he was just using it. You two got talking then. He... a little. He seemed nice. For a stranger to connect with Futaba is no easy feat. He must have quite a talent for this. I'm not sure talent is the word for it, but yeah, he's cool. What? You want to get him to counsel you too? I see no point in having any hard probe by another stranger. Truth, man. Still, I am curious as to how he managed to negate Futaba's usual uh, reticence. I don't know. We just talk normally. But he's such a good listener, right? Maybe you ended up talking more than usual. So it's true. He does have some extraordinary effect. Surely he must have some greater insight. The better to SP? Espy? The better to espy the innermost truths of the heart. Holy shit! This dude has ESP? Espy. To see or perceive. Makoto, is there any way you could arrange for him to meet me? What? Me? You want to meet him that badly? Please, I feel there is something out here I must confirm for myself. Well, I can't make anything happen instantly, but I'll see what I can do. My sincerest thanks. I'm looking forward to finally meeting him. Well then, we got a lot that's about to come the fuck up since we're, we're back from Hawaii now. And we got to see about Futaba's data. We got to see about what just happened with the principal and a whole bunch of other shit. So, we're going to end things off here. 
And the next one, we're going to do all that. So to my brothers and sisters and everybody else in between, I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuce. You know, I could do some shit with this plant real quick, too. Let's do that real quick. Of course, you know, you, you guys can do that, too. I don't need to do that, but I just want to take care of the plant just for to take care of it. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to have my save in here. We haven't saved in a little bit. There we go. But yeah. Deuces. Oh, shit. And before I say, uh, go, 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 go. Remember, to everybody who does celebrate it, uh, it or whatever, have a happy Thanksgiving. I'll catch y'all on Black Friday.